Recognized in Forbes for her PBS travel empire, Darlie Newman is a media entrepreneur, TV host, writer, and multimedia producer who has channeled her passions for travel and storytelling into successful multi-platform series and distinctive media brands. She's the creator, producer, and host of Emmy Award-winning Equitrekking and Travels with Darlie, which can be seen on networks in over 85 nations, including PBS, Amazon Prime, Ovation, TV Journey, and One Drum. In addition to six Daytime Emmy Award nominations and three wins, she's been honored to serve as the United States Tourism Ambassador to Korea for three years running and received the North American Travel Journalist Award for Best Travel Bro Broadcast, the Inspiring Women Award from Women in Philanthropy and Leadership, and two Telly Awards. Having led production teams in over 30 nations in 26 states, Darley's filmmaking adventures include traversing one of the world's largest salt pans in Africa, free diving with, within South Korea, swimming with sharks in Dubai, and exploring the World War I red zone by mountain bike in Northeast France. Starting in 2023, she is producing Revolutionary Road Trips, a multi-platform PBS series focusing on untold stories of the American Revolution, a project she's going to share with us this morning. Without further ado, please welcome Darlie Newman. Thank you, I'm so happy to be here today. I've been doing this for more than a decade um, and have, uh, th this is my second long time series on PBS. So Revolutionary Road Trips is gonna be part of my Travels with Darlie series. Over the years, I've been theming my episodes to include everything from Alabama Civil Rights Trail to the Continental Divide Trail in New Mexico. Uh, we've done, we did New York's Empire State Trail and uh, beyond, beyond, beyond. I've gone all over the world filming and I have done some really crazy things. You know, I, I did do the world's highest commercial bungee in Macau, China. I jumped off a building. I don't know why. Um, I've done a lot of crazy adventures that you heard about in the beginning, but one thing that I've loved over the years, which I've gotten to cover and share and hear so many great stories as we've traveled around, surrounds history. The Alabama Civil Rights Trail and then most recently um, Charleston and the Liberty Trail, which I'm going to share with you a little bit about today. But I did 35 episodes of my Equitrekking series, 10, I've done 10 seasons of this series, and we're filming. I just <laughs> came from Alabama here, where I just did two... Um, filmed two half hours on food and history. So really fun topics. And I think one thing that's, um, and, and I do have Virginia roots too, because I went to high school in Richmond, Virginia, from South Carolina, um, born in DC. So I'm kind of a coastal kid, living in New York City now. So loving all these states represented. By the way, Wisconsin in the house, Idaho in the house. I was so excited at all the diverse states we have here interested in this topic and sharing stories and history and educating the public. I love when, when someone has a tie to history. I just was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I interviewed this cowboy who grew up with Georgia O'Keeffe at Ghost Ranch. It was amazing. Getting that history firsthand is awesome. But Revolutionary War, we may not do that, but we will get people that are passionate about the history and can relay it and can share different things and can share with the public things that they haven't heard about yet. Because we've only scratched the surface of what's being shared and, and in our educational systems. Like, we don't get the full story, and I think those stories should be out there. People want to know. And they're going to be surprised, and they're going to remember it. So it's a really cool project, and I love doing it. I'm going to show you a clip from Charleston and the Liberty Trail, which I filmed about a year and a half ago. From 1775 to 1783, the Revolutionary War saw North American colonists in a fight against the British for independence. Some of the most significant American losses and victories took place in South Carolina. I'm Charlie Newman, and I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina, following the Liberty Trail. Revolutionary War cannons. We call them snub nose cannon. We should put up a sign that said George Washington partied here. Well, Charleston is quite a fun town. <laughs> <laughs> it smells really good. <laughs> 
if I were on the battlefield, I would have run. You may be in this beautiful, peaceful place, but you got to do the laundry too. Um, wow, sixth generation. Yes. So we're walking across the foundation of this massive fortress. A quaint little drinking village with a shrimping problem. Ooh. On Travels with Darley. So we are going to cover sites that travelers can visit, but we're also going to look at doing some interesting things like going into some archives and pulling out things that people maybe haven't seen before. So this is a clip from the Civil Rights Trail, just so you, a promo so you can kind of see what that project was all about. One of the best ways to really get to know history is to speak to people who live through it. Joanne, I read about you and I know that you were arrested 13 times before the age of 12. Music was always important to the movement. Um, Mrs. Parks was very passionate about voter registration and we did that. We went door to door and um, that wasn't um, the safest thing to do. We're exploring Alabama's Civil Rights Trail and meeting with activists who lived through the movement. Dr. Martin Luther King delivering his amazing how long, not long speech. What you've done for so many people, I mean, it's helped so many people and you were just a child. And I hope, and I hope um, it continues to help. Stay tuned for their stories and how you can travel to experience this historic route in modern times on Travels with Darley, Alabama Civil Rights Trail. Yeah, so Joanne Bland made me cry, and I haven't cried in like 10 years on anything, but her story was, was crazy. I mean, what she's done for people, and she's not well known in history, but she should be, and she leads tours in Selma. So if you go there, you can take a tour with her, and it's a pretty amazing experience. One of the reasons I do what I do, um, I feel like we're all here on this planet for a certain reason. I mean, if I think all of us in this room feel like, I think we all have a purpose, right? A lot of people are searching for their purpose still, and out of the pandemic, a lot of people thought about that more, and they changed jobs, or they changed careers, or they decided they wanted to do something on the side. But I think sharing stories, that's definitely one of my purposes, but it's also a lot of the people that we meet, it's their purpose too. So this is just the last statement from Joanne that I wanted to leave you with, because I thought it was really, like, meant a lot. And young people today have to realize where we've been as a nation in order to take us where we need to go. So I believe social movements are like jigsaw puzzles. Everyone is a piece, right? If your piece is missing, baby, the, <laughs> the picture is not complete. So yeah. this, uh, this is your piece in the puzzle for social change. And my piece, telling this story so we know where we've been. And I thank you for that. So I, I love her, <laughs> like she's amazing. <laughs>